Alrighty then, it is June of 2020, and if you haven't noticed, people have lost their minds. So I had to go out in public today and do stuff and things. So I wore a shirt that said allergic to stupid people because they needed to be warned, do not come for me today. I am not in the mood. Okay, so all went fine because my shirt worked. So all is good in my hood. And I said, I'm going to make me a dinner of chicken and rice with some broccoli, which I had left over from another meal because it is so satisfying. And you could do it with pasta, but I'm a Cajun, so we do most everything with rice. Just is what it is. So all I got is a little head of broccoli, some home canned chicken with my juice in there. I've got a can of cream of chicken soup, half a cup of sour cream, the end of a container, and my spices. I have garlic powder, onion powder, um, poultry seasoning, salt, black pepper, because I do not season my chicken when I can it. So when I take it out, I'm not committed to a curry chicken or a taco chicken or anything like that. This was just raw packed chicken breast and it is delicious. And of course we're gonna use cheddar cheese because cheese makes me happy. I'm a mouse, remember? So this ain't rocket science. It's just going to be a casserole. It's going to cook at 350 for about 30 minutes. Easy peasy. June 2020. It's already a sucky year, but I will not be stopped from having a good attitude when I can wear a sign that warns people not today. Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to boil these for about 40 minutes, and then I'm going to drain them. Okie dokie. Chicken and rice from home can. Chicken. That's what's happening in my kitchen. Ooh, and I finally got my action cam because my other one was having a fit because my SD card went bad. And of course, I live remotely and delivery places decided that was not essential so they wouldn't send it to me. Then when they did, they sent it to like Traveler's Rest, South Carolina. I don't live there, okay? So I ended up getting a cheap camera. Now I have two and then maybe I can film my fishing adventures because this girl has been on redfish like you cannot believe it. I'm out of control, out of control. So my rice is cooking. I'm only gonna use about a cup, I think, but I'm making two cups of rice. So I'm gonna dump this chicken with the broth that it made into my bowl. It ain't hard, people. It's cooking. Is it purdy when it drops in here? Heck no, look at that. Ha! I love canning. It's just funky. I put my broccoli on the stove for about four minutes, as I said. I think it helps preserve its flavor, so that's why I do it. So, let's get a fork. Let's try to get what we need. I could have done that ahead of time, but like I said, it's been a hell of a June. Right? All right, so all I gotta do is push it down. And if I decided my casserole wasn't big enough, I could add another jar of chicken because when you're a canner, more is the way it is. So I'm gonna choose to sprinkle my little seasoning packet in here right now. This is the easiest thing you'll have ever done in your whole life. We can dump our chicken, cream of chicken, soup. Oh, I love that sound, it's so gross. Now, I get it all out. I done paid for all of it. Don't be wasteful. Times is hard. I mean, I still know people who can't even find soup, cans of soup like that. A well-stocked pantry would have that stuff. Not have to even go. Okay, I gotta drain my broccoli now. I'll be back. Our broccoli is drained. Let's get our little cream of chicken soup in here. I'm smushing my chicken around some more. This feeds a lot of people and is very economical. 
a pint jar holds slightly over one pound of chicken breast. You could certainly do this with chicken thighs. Do your own thing. It's your house. You are grown. The kitchen is your area. Let's get our sour cream in there. It was the last of a container, so it's a little bit more than half a cup. Oh, I love the smell of sour cream. It's shocking to me that something that subtle has a smell. All right, we're gonna dump in some cheese. And then we're gonna get our warm broccoli in here and see what it looks like. If we need more liquid, remember we had, it's about three quarters of a cup of chicken broth that your chicken makes in a pint jar. I'll be back. Boom shakalaka, broccoli. And we're gonna put our rice in here too. But it ain't ready yet. Look at that vibrant green. Broccoli is a beautiful thing. We're grown so we don't have to hide vegetables from people. All right, so my broccoli, my broccoli. My rice has about seven more minutes. And this will need a little more liquid, so I'm gonna put probably about up to this line. It's probably gonna be about a quarter cup of water. Well, I turned on the camera just in time for the dinger to go off. So this is cooked for 30 minutes at 350. I do like to check the condition of the broccoli and it is tender. And because it is June and we've all lost our minds collectively, it, I lost the clip of where I added the rice to that big bowl, mixed it up, and then I put it in a buttered casserole, and then I just crunched up Ritz crackers and put them on there. So 350, 30 minutes, I do need to let this sit, and then we will cut into it, but I know it'll be delicious. It always, it always is, and I love using home canned chicken and food storage. That is as long as I am waiting to cut into that, about eight minutes. I walked to the dock, went in my garden, got two tomatoes. It's very yummy looking, cheesy, not dry. It's gonna be hot, I got a food. Okay, as soul satisfying and good as I remember, and I love me a casserole, especially from food storage. And this one's jam packed with vitamins and minerals and protein from our home canned chicken. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. Oh yeah. And you can really taste the poultry seasoning. I love poultry seasoning. So anyway, if you're not a home canner, you could be. And if you don't home can your own chicken, they do sell a brand of chicken that is 100% chicken. All it has in it is some salt. And it is in a small can. So just read your label real well. You could also use peas in this. You could use frozen broccoli. You could add spinach. So it's very versatile. And I love me a casserole. So we're at the beginning of June. And in the name of God, let it get better. That's all I got to say about June. Because I'm over it. I'm kind of over 2020. All right. Have a great one. Stay safe.